Last year, President Biden visited GM's new factory, Zero. He took the new Hummer out for a spin and raved. The Hummer is one hell of a vehicle, man. These suckers are something else. Despite these suckers being something else, they've also experienced a world of issues that have cost GM and even EV owners thousands of dollars. Today I'm talking about the GMC Hummer EV. Believe it or not, Biden's visit and unofficial endorsement caused a noticeable increase in reservations for the truck. In fact, reservations jumped seven times compared to an average day, and GMC website traffic increased by 230%. If you're hoping to get your hands on a Hummer EV sometime soon, well, I got bad news for you. First of all, General Motors stopped taking pre-orders for the EV, and even if you're one of the 90,000 people who's holding a reservation, you'll still need to wait. I'm not talking about a few weeks or months, I mean years. Recently, GMC announced that the Hummer EVs are sold out for the next two years. That includes both the GMC Hummer EV pickup truck and the GMC Hummer EV SUV. Now here's the funny thing. The GMC Hummer EV SUV isn't even built yet. Production for the electric SUV isn't expected to start until 2023 at the earliest. So far, GM has only produced 2,570 units of the electric pickup. If you're wondering how the Hummer EVs are already sold out, well, there are a few reasons. First of all, GMC has been facing some production problems. Initially, GMC was having issues with the battery cells, but then it added a new cell plant in Ohio. So GMC's battery cell problems seemed to be on the mend, with plans to make batteries domestically. But then, this past October, GMC announced a recall. Turns out that hundreds of Hummer EV pickups had faulty battery seals that were letting water in. Once water gets in, the pickup is undrivable. GM attributed the cause to undercured urethane seals from the battery pack supplier. Blame it on someone else, of course. At the time of the initial recall, GM said it was aware of three defective Hummer EV pickups. Two wouldn't drive and the third lost power on the road. But GM went even further than a recall. It even issued a stop sale of the Hummer EV pickups. Well, I tried to fix the problem. But sadly, that's not the only problem with the Hummer. For example, there have been reports of the Hummer EV malfunctioning if it gets wet. Earlier in 2022, GM issued a technical service bulletin for improperly sealed A-pillars that can let in water. Water can then leak onto an electrical connector, ultimately causing a driver's side window mirror and lock controls to malfunction. To make matters worse, the same leaked water can also trigger the theft alarm system or even activate random messages on the driver information center. So owners need to take the car back to the dealership to replace faulty connectors, inspect for leaks, and and reseal if needed. And the challenge just didn't end there. As of this past September, GM had built 700 Hummer EV pickups. This was just one third of its goal. But this last November, they had to halt all production. The reason is because GM shut down Factory Zero in Michigan for a few weeks to retool the plant. So it can produce the new Silverado EV at the same time as it's punching out the Hummer EVs. You can imagine the huge downtime and production delays that this caused as the production remained at a standstill. By the way, did you know that GM is reportedly considering making a smaller Hummer EV? Kind of reminds me of how Ford made Bronco Sport version, which to me is just a baby Bronco. Anyway, some analysts say that this is because of the amount of cells needed to produce Hummer EVs. Chevy Silverado EVs, GMC Sierra EV pickups is just too big. And so a smaller Hummer EV option could be a way for GM to keep customers happy and satisfy the ever-growing demand for the Hummer. But now, this is still just a rumor and there aren't any solid or official news about about this. It's not too far of a stretch to conceive though. Right now, the only available powertrain for the EV pickup includes three electric motors that churn out a thousand horsepower. That's a lot more horses than the F-150 Lightning. It's a lot faster too. The Hummer EV can accelerate from zero to 60 in as little as three seconds. That's thanks to its Watts to Freedom feature that's specifically designed to propel the EV forward from a stop. But this feature does come with a warning from GM. Watts to Freedom is only intended for use on a closed course and should not be used on public roads. Then there's the unique Hummer EV SUV's crab walk feature. Basically, the Hummer EV can pretty much glide from side to side like a crab that's moving diagonally. With the crab walk feature, the Hummer EV can supposedly avoid or move around almost any obstacle. This enables the driver to maneuver around an obstacle without multi-point turns. I can just imagine taking the Hummer EV SUV to your first driving test and do the crab walk when the driving test instructor asks you to parallel park. 
and at high speeds, Crab Walk can aid the Hummer EV in making more stable lane changes. Also, you have to remember that the Hummer EV isn't small. It's 7 feet wide, and it's 16 or 18 feet long, depending on whether you get the pickup or the SUV. So the Crab Walk can be quite handy when you're ever on a narrow pass and you chance upon an obstacle or obstruction in the wild. Another unique feature of the GMC Hummer EV pickup, or SUV, is Extract Mode. Extract Mode enables you to raise your Hummer 6 inches above normal ride height. This technology employs the Air Ride Adaptive Suspension System. This mode is actually designed to help you clear obstacles when off-roading. Now this feature isn't active right now, but according to GM, the Extract Mode will become available at a later time through an over-the-air or dealer update. The Hummer EV pickup comes with a 5 foot long bed. Now the interior of the Hummer is noticeably more cramped than GMC Sierra Crew Cab pickup. The interior also comes with a share of unique touches. For example, you can see the interior design was inspired by outer space. Take for example, the moon boot footprint on the dead pedal and speaker grills that show the sea of tranquility. The reference to outer space trace all the way back to GM's connection with NASA astronauts and the electrically empowered Apollo 15 lunar rover with GM help to engineer. Now all that said, not everything's on the sunny side. Complaints have already come in about its braking performance. In one test, slowing down the 9,000 pound plus beast to a full stop required 211 feet, and after repeated runs, the brakes noticeably began to fade. As far as towing capacity, the EV pickup can tow up to 7,500 pounds. Now, that's measly compared to other EV pickups like the Ford F-150 Lightning or the Rivian R1T. The Lightning can tow 10,000 pounds and the R1T can handle 11,000 pounds. But let's talk about the driving range. Both the Hummer EV pickup and SUV are powered by GM's new Altium battery technology. With this technology, the EV pickup can get up to 329 miles of range per charge. GMC claims that its Hummer EV's 800 volt electrical architecture with 350 kilowatt fast charging capability will add 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes. But keep in mind that charging times are significantly diminished when the EV is plugged into a regular public charging terminal as opposed to a DC fast charger. Other interior specs include a 13.4 inch infotainment screen and a 12.3 inch digital instrument panel. If you're someone who's into video games, you'll like this next Hummer EV fact. GMC contracted the maker of the globally renowned Fortnite video game Epic Games to create the graphics for the Hummer's EV's infotainment interface. Through its infotainment system, you can also access UltraVision. UltraVision gives the driver the choice between 18 different camera angles. I'm talking about surround view, underbody, forward forward and rearward, underbody split, front forward and forward rearward, overhead view, front and rear side view, or another view. Ultra vision pretty much covers just about every angle you can think of. The intent is to help drivers keep an eye on all four wheels and the obstacle underneath or really anywhere around the vehicle. Ultra vision cameras are also waterproof and include replacement lens protectors and even a washer function. As far as standard safety features, the Hummer EV pickup includes things like standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, and standard adaptive cruise control with hands-free driving mode. And to top it all, it comes with 35-inch tires for optimal on- and off-road performance. Similar to other GM vehicles, the Hummer EV comes with a limited warranty that covers 3 years or 36,000 miles, and powertrain warranties cover 5 years or 60,000 miles. It also comes with free maintenance coverage for the first visit. The Hummer EV comes with a starting MSRP of $110,295. If that's already above your budget, which I'm sure it is for most Americans, then now what you're going to say when you hear the next story. It all goes back to one particular GMC Hummer EV's post on Facebook. In a Hummer EV Facebook group, the owner said that they had to pay $4,040 to purchase a single replacement taillight, and that wasn't even including labor costs. According to GM, each individual Hummer EV taillight comes with a shiny price tag of $3,000. $1,045. So don't back into anything. And once you factor in the labor costs, taxes, and other fees, you're talking over seven grand to replace one set, depending on your state and dealership. Now I know what you're thinking, how can a taillight be that expensive? And that's a fair and valid question that came to my mind too. Well, according to GM, each taillight has a microconductor in the housing that allows the individual lights to perform its respective animations. But there's a silver lining to this cloud, albeit a thin one. If something were to go wrong with your home, 
Hummer's EV taillights. Each taillight is covered for defects under warranty. But mind you, if you back in the side of your garage, well, it's your own fault, not GM, so it's not covered under warranty. Speaking of taillights, earlier this year, GM recalled some Hummers due to an issue that impacted the taillights. This was due to a software defect. And you'd think just the software fix, but actually, GM replaced the lamp assembly entirely. The thing is, the impacted software is embedded in the taillight microcontrollers. Now, the Hummer EV isn't the only EV under GM's wing. Keep in mind that GM has in the works the upcoming Chevy Silverado EV. In fact, the fully electrified Silverado will use the same basic battery electric platform as the Hummer EV, not the existing Silverado platform. Production will start in the same plant, which is Factory Zero, and it will start the second quarter of 2023. If you haven't seen my recent video on the Chevy Silverado EV, check it out. There's also the upcoming 2024 GMC Sierra EV. The focus of this Sierra will be performance and off-roading capabilities. The 2024 GMC Sierra EV debuted with a maximum output of 754 horsepower and 785 pound-feet of torque. If you're wondering how much the 2024 Sierra will be, well, this one will set you back as little as 45 grand and go all the way up to 80 grand for the Denali Ultimate Interior. By the way, did you know that both the 2024 GMC Sierra EV and the 2024 Chevy Silverado EV will share the BT1 platform? The BT1 platform is a type of GM EV architecture designed for pickup trucks and SUVs. The B in BT1 stands for battery. The BT1 platform is a variant of the T1 body on frame platform. Actually, Chevrolet, GMC Hummer, and Cadillac all share this BT1 architecture. But now you tell me, what do you think about GMC Hummer EV pickup truck and SUV? Do you think it's worth waiting two years for? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.